So before we jump in and create our awesome 2D painting app for AR, it's probably a really good idea for us to really understand how Unity talks about pixels on objects and how, how I guess what terminology, what sort of concepts we really need to get our heads around um, yeah, before we go ahead and create our app. Um, so we got ourselves a game object, right? Uh, we've got ourselves a game object. Now that's got it on it. Um, let's say for example, you've got a quad. That's gonna have two, two important elements we're gonna talk about. Uh, the first is going to be a mesh filter, uh, and that's going to hold on it uh, a mesh, right? That's like the, I guess the most, most important part of a mesh filter is going to be the mesh, and that's going to be either a quad or a sphere or what have you. Uh, those are the two we're probably going to work with. Um, and and the, second, the second one we're going to talk about is going to be a mesh renderer, right? Because... A mesh, a mesh by itself doesn't know what color it should be. It doesn't know how it should look. It doesn't know whether it should do reflections or anything like that. So, so we're also going to need a mesh renderer. Okay, ren render, mesh renderer. And what's that got on it? It's got on it a material. And the material is is really a material is like a that, that's got the what we call a shader and that's going to tell it what color it's going to be whether it's going to do any reflections anything like that uh, not, an interesting thing is often often especially with the standard unity materials they're going to have what's called a uh, texture and so I'm, a material i'm going to go just go down here a material has on it a texture and in code, in C Sharp, what we're able to do is we're able to say, I want the texture to be, like I want to assign a new texture to this material. And then the, our mesh, like our quad, is going to, uh, going to have that new, new texture that we've created on it. And the interesting thing about a texture is a texture is really synonymous with an image. In other words, uh, at, least for the, for, at least for what we're going to be doing to them, um, we can really think of a texture as an image or just, uh, you know, an X, like a, an array of pixels. You know, you've got uh, this many pixels wide, uh, this many pixels high, and, um, and we're going to change them individually. Um, and so that's how we can think of textures. The textures are really going to be the thing we're going to be working with closest, most closely for doing this 2D thing, and in particular, changing the pixels on them. So let's talk about what sort of functions we're going to want to we're going to want to use. Okay, so let, let's uh, the first one's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be like a create texture, create texture, and what that's really going to do is it's going to ask for a width in pixels. Okay, so it doesn't care whether your whether your mesh your mesh might be. 500 meters wide, it might be five centimeters wide, it doesn't care because we're talking about how many pixels wide our texture that's going to be applied to the mesh is. And most likely it's going to stretch across that mesh. Right? So let's say for example, uh, you wanted to do like a like an eight, eight, you know, a eight by eight sort of Mario style uh, you know, blocky image. Maybe your width and height would be like eight pixels. You know, um, if you wanted to do like a, a really a really high resolution a really high resolution image, then maybe you want it to be like a thousand pixels or something. But anyway, we'll look at we'll look at how different pixel, different widths and heights of our textures will will change how the whole thing looks. And that'll be our first function. The second function is going to be even like also very simple. Um, this is going to be called our fill function. And what that's going to do, you might guess, is it's just going to change every pixel in the texture to a certain color. And all we need to know is what color do you want it to turn to. So I pass in a color, and it's going to set all the pixels to a certain color. Okay, now this is when things get a little bit interesting because what we're going to next thing we want to talk about is let's say we want to change a particular pixel on that texture. You know, I want to click on a pixel. I want to if I've got a device on me, I want to touch on that on that particular pixel, that particular part of that mesh, and I want you to change that particular uh, yeah change that pixel to a different color. And so what we need to talk about there. Uh, we're gonna. What are we gonna talk about first? Uh, let's talk. Let's talk about the function. Okay, the function is gonna be called uh, on mouse down, right? We'll just talk about mouse for now. You know, we, we can change that to touch down later. But um, on mouse uh, down. 
Okay, so that's going to be an event really, or it's like it's going to act like an event. That's going to happen every time that someone clicks. And when they do click, we're going to do what's called a raycast. Okay, so let's say, for example, we've got the camera here. We've got our canvas over here. And we're going to raycast. So we're going to like shoot across. Like let's say, for example, we go like here, right? And uh, that, that's kind of like, that's the point on that mesh that you've clicked on. And what that's going to return to us is what we call a UV coordinate. And a UV coordinate always goes from 0 to 1 on the x axis, um, 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, and also 0 to 1 on the y axis. Uh, top, left is, top left is 0, 0, bottom right is 1, 1. So you sort of get the idea, you go 1, 1 there, uh, 0, 0, 1 on the y, okay. Yeah, anyway, you get the idea there. So let's say, for example, we've, we've hit it there. Maybe that's uh, on the x-axis, maybe that's like 0 0.4. Uh, and on the y-axis, it's going to be 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Okay. So that's our vector 2 that we're getting back from this, uh, from this raycast, right? So this is a, we'll call this a raycast. And, and these are the uh, UV coordinates, UV. Out of interest, the U is the x-axis, the V is the y-axis. Um, I won't go too much. Yeah, it won't go too much in the history, but it's kind of like yeah, just just a different name for x and y. Um, okay, and also what we're going to do after we get those UV coordinates, that's going to be our on mouse down, which is going to return return that uh, vector two, I think. Yeah, I think that's going to return the UV. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take those UV coordinates and we're going to convert them to pixel coordinates. So we're going to create a, like a helper function and that's going to just be called UV to pixel. Okay, pixel, pixel, is that pixel? I can't remember if that's how you spell pixel. Anyway, UV to pixel coordinates, take in a vector 2. Okay, and it's going to return to us a... Um, it's going to return to us a uh, vector two integer, which is going to be uh, the actual um, the actual pixel uh, the pixel positions, right? And how do we do that? I'm just going to I'm write out the function and then I'll explain how it works. So we'll say um, pixel x pixel x equals uh, uh, a function uh, like a math function called floor to int. Floor to int, uh, int, and remember this vector two is our like that's kind of like our UV, right? And so what we're going to do the x-axis is the U, so U multiplied by text width. All right, and and it, and you can guess that the y-axis is almost identical, right? It's just going to be it's going to be a y there and a V there, and that's going to be a height there, if that makes sense. You know, kind of the same thing for the X and the Y. And the reason why we do this, I'm going to, I'm going to, start, going to draw a diagram down here. Let's say we've got our, our texture. What did we say? We said it was about 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. So let's say, for example, on, in UV coordinates, right, from 0 to 1, uh, 0 to 1 on the X and the Y axes, uh, that's going to be... Uh, what I say, 0, 0 0.4 and 0 0.2 on the x and 0 0.2 uh, on the y. Now, if we were to draw in what the actual pixel coordinates were, we would look something like this. Let's say, for example, we got four pixels wide, four pixels high, right? So we'll go like something like this, four wide, four high. Okay, so now um, if I was to draw in the actual pixel coordinates, I know this is, this is taking a little while, it's just good to be really explicit with this, right? So I've got 0, um, 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, uh, 2, 0, 3, 0, that's 3 on the axis, 0 on the y axis, and then it'll be like 0, 1, 0, 2. Anyway, you get the sort of idea. Um, so the idea is. The idea is that we want to multiply our, our u-coordinate by the width, which will give us, let's say, for example, 0 0.4 multiplied by, uh, it goes from 0 to 3, which means it's 4 pixels wide. 
um, that, that's going to really mean that, so width equals 4. I like to think of extremes here. So if width, uh, if, if the UV coordinate was 0 0.99999, I don't think you ever really hit one, but 0 0.9999, right, and the width is 4, if we uh, multiplied that 0 0.9 by 4, it would be, um, yeah, 3.9999. And then we floor that, uh, we floor that number to 3, which will give us our, our 3, right, uh, on the x-axis. Now, if we were to do the same with the, um, the, this particular position, right, so let's say, for example, we've got on the x-axis 0 0.4 multiplied by 4, which is our pixel width. Uh, 0 0.4 multiplied by 4 is... 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.2, 1.6, I think. Okay, 1.6, right? If we floor that, it's going to be 1. Okay, so we now, now we know that our pixel x-axis is 1. So pixel x, uh, where do we go? Pix, pix, pixel x, x is equal to 1. All right, now let's have a look at the y-axis. 0 0.2 multiplied by 4. Yeah, uh, yeah, 0 0.2 multiplied by 4, okay, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. And if you uh, floor that, then it's going to go to uh, pixel Y, 0 0.8 floored to an inch, you floor it to the nearest whole number, uh, pixel Y is equal to 0. Uh, 0 0.8 floored to the nearest whole number is 0. Okay, so now we've got our UV to pixel is going to return two integers, which will be our pixel X and our pixel Y. All right, now we've got that. <laughs> okay, now that might have seemed like a bit of a mouthful, but that's really like the, like the key to, to getting this, right? Once we got that, all we got to do is we got to create one more, little, one more little function called stroke. That's going to take in our, uh, our vector to integer. So it's a, our, an integer, which will be our pixel coordinates. So I just call it pixel pixel chords, okay, and, and all we got to do is uh, in our stroke, we're just going to, oh, yeah, sorry, excuse me, we're also going to take in the color of that pixel. So take in the color, whatever color it is, um, uh, uh, set that pixel at those coordinates to that color, which would be very straightforward. Um, the only, I will quickly mention the only thing we want to consider with this, maybe we want it to be a width. Let's say, for example, you had a really high resolution image of like, say, a thousand by a thousand pixels. Click on this one pixel, you won't even be able to see it. So maybe you want to say the, the pixels directly to the left and the right of it also change their color, but that'll come in later. For now, we'll just get this functionality going with those, uh, really those four, those four main functions with the one helper function and, um, and that'll be, that'll be, yeah, that'll get, that'll get the ball rolling anyway.